نحمد ہوا نسلی اللہ رسول کریم و مار سلنا کا اللہ رحمت للعالمین ان اللہ و ملائکتہ یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ اللذین آمنو صلو علیہ وسلم و تسلیمہ ریسپیکٹڈ پیرنس ٹیچرز این ایلڈرز السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ We praise the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator, the nourisher, the cherisher, the sustainer, the provider, the protector, and the curer, the one in whose hands lies absolutely every aspect and control of every creature of his. Indeed, all praise is due to him, blessings and salutation upon those sent by him to us to remove us from the darkness into the light. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his entire household and all his companions and everyone who struggled through the years and generations to preserve the goodness and convey the message of the peace, the Islam in the way it has come to us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless every one of us and the generations to come. On behalf of Suffolk Islamic Center and the courtesy of our sponsors ITV and Adam Tours, It is my privilege to welcome all of you to this beautiful event tonight, which is also known as the Sira Awareness Program. The event is being held exclusively for our young students at our Sunday and weekdays programs at Suffolk Islamic Center under the leadership of our Imam, Sheikh Lutfur Rahman. Our young children of this beautiful community are learning the deen of Islam, the deen of peace, and the Sira of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The students have prepared very hard for today's event, and I would personally like to congratulate all the parents and SIC's administration for their time and effort to make this event possible. The students will be participating in the Quran recitation, the Sira quiz, the Hadith elimination uh, contest tonight. There will be a snack break in the middle of the program. I'm sure everybody's going to like that. Uh, the prize distribution ceremony will be followed by the dinner and the Isha Salah. So without any further delay, I am going to call upon our respected Imam Sheikh Lutfur Rahman to say a few words and going to introduce our sponsors for tonight. Alhamdulillah wa kafa wa salamun ala ibadihi alladhi nastafa Brothers, sisters, beautiful youngsters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First and foremost, we thank Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal who granted us, who gave us such a beautiful, wonderful evening in Suffolk Islamic Center. Rabbul Izzati Wal Jalal is too kind to us that he made us Muslim, gave us the best prophet, they gave us the best book, the constitution for humanity at large, Al Quran Al Kareem. In the month of Rabi al Awal, it is a great pleasure for us to celebrate and commemorate and to talk about our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All over the world, the celebrations are going on. Last week, Brother Shahidullah, director of Islamic TV, he invited in a program in Limbs, Long Island Islamic or Muslim Society. It was a beautiful program. Immediately I offered, brother, why not to us? Why you don't want to give us a beautiful program? So brother Shahidullah immediately accepted and another brother from Adam Tours, he sponsored the gift. And of course we are so much appreciative, so much grateful to those brothers who made it possible tonight to get together in this beautiful masjid. One thing I want to keep in record for our beautiful community. Rangkon Koma is such a beautiful, unique community. Whenever, whenever I approach our brothers and sisters for any good things, any educational program, immediately it was accepted. Never ever, since I came, Never ever it was rejected or refused. No, we cannot host such program. Really from the bottom of the heart, I appreciate all my brothers, sisters, 
management, parents, students came all the way to make it possible, beautiful program, inshallah. And I ensure, inshallah, all of us, we are going to enjoy the program. Our students, they, they will demonstrate how much they learn at Suffolk Islamic Center. And this is their program. And of course, this is how we need to encourage them. At the end, invitation to everyone, inshallah, beautiful and excellent dinner has been arranged. For everyone, please don't go without having the dinners. And please enjoy the program. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us success and special thanks to Brother Shahidullah ITV as well as Adam Tours. Jazakumullahu khair al jaza. Brother Imran Latif, who is our principal of Suffolk Islamic Center, he is going to conduct the program. Faljatafaddal mashkura. The first kid is uh, none other than Ibrahim Afghani. Yes. My name is Sharadu. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna ahdu aina kal kothar fasalili rabbika one heart. Inna shaniyaka wal ahdar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Iza jaa nasrullahi wal fat. Right, <laughs> Ma agna anhu ma luhu wa ma kasab Sayasla na ramza talaha Amratu hammala talhata Piji diha hablum min masab Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kul a'udhu bi rabbin nas Walikin nas Just give me a little chance to say the kalima to you Waswasi lukhan nas Alladhi waswi sufi sududin Our next student is our youngest student here, Muhammad Rahman. So our next student is um, Zara Afghani. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Zara Afghani and I will be reciting Surah al Nasi. Audhu billahi min ash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa al naziyati gharqa. Wa al nashitati nashta. Wa al sabihati sabaha. Fa al sabiqati sabaqa. Fa al mudabbirati amra. Yawma tarjifa al rajiva. Tadbawha al radifa. Qulubu al yawma idhu wajifa. Abisaruha khashia. Yuquluna inna namadduduna fi al hafira. Sadaqallahu alayhim. I will be doing some cutting. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشية 
عاملة ناسبة تصلى نار حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ذريع لا يسمن ولا يغن من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناهمة ليس لهم طعام إلا من ذريع لسعيها رادئة في جنة رادية في جنة عالية صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today I'll be reciting Surah Al-Duha. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Wa'l-Duha. Wa'l-Layli Da Sajah. Ma wa'l-Daqa Rabbuka wa ma kala. Wa'l-Al-Ahiratu Khairul Laka Minal Ula. Wa'l-Sofa Yu'tika Rabbuka Fatarda. Alam Yajidika Yatiman Fa'awa. Wa'l-Wajadaka Dalam Fa'awa. فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فهدث صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Bashra Rahman and I am 13 years old. I'll be reciting Surah Yasin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Yasin. Wal Quranil Hakim. Innaka la minal mursaleen. Ala siratim mustaqim. Tanzeel al Aziz al Rahim. Litundir qawman ma undir abauhum fahum ghafilun. Laqad haqq al qawlu ala أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مقمهون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبصرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من اتبع الذكر وخشى أشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إنا نحن نحي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Yamin Halider أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى ولا الآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فعاوى ووجدك ضالا فحدا ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأما اليتيما فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فهدث صدق الله عليكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Hadiya Sayyid and I will be reciting Suratin. Wattini wa zaytun wa turi sinin wa hazal balad al-ameen Lakad khalakana al-insana fi asani taqoween Thumma adadanahum asfala saafinin Illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu al-salihati Falahum ajrun ghayrun mamnoon Fama yukazibuka ba'du bid-deen Alisa Allahu bi ahkam al-hakimeen Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شح تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن رب من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Khalda Afghani and I'll be reciting to you 10 eyes of Surat al-Abasa 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أبس وتولى أن جاءه الآمى وما يدريك لأله يزكى أو يذكر فتنفعه الذكرى أما من استغنى فأنت له تسدى وما عليك لا يزكى أما من ج... ألا يزكى أما من جاءك يسى وهو يغشى فأنت أنه تلحى صدق الله العظيم My name is Nahyan, I'm 10 years old and tonight I'll be reciting Surah Rahman 10 ayahs of it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ar-Rahman Allam al-Qur'an Khalaq al-Insan Allamahu al-Bayan Al-Shams wal-Qamar bi-Husban Wal-Najm wal-Shajr yasjudan Wal-Sama raf'aha wa wada'a al-Mizan Alla tatgaw fi al-Mizan Waqimu al-Wazna bil-Qisti wa la tukhsiru al-Mizan Wal-Arda wada'aha lil-Anam Fiha fakihatu wal-Nakhlu dhatu al-Akmam Wal-Habbu dhu al-Asfi wal-Rayhan Fabi-Ayy Aalai ربكما تكذبا صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اكتنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين رمت لهم قول المكتوب لهم ولقدال آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. My name is Muhammad Umar Latif. I will be reciting ten ayahs of Surah Al-Mulk. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. تبارك الذي بيد الملك. وهو على كل شيء قدير الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فتور ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقرب إليك البصر قاسئا وهو عسير ولقد زينا السماء الدنيا بمصابيح وجعلناها وجعلناها رجوما للشياطين واعتدنا لهم عذاب السعير وللذين كفروا بربهم عذاب جهنم وبئس المصير إذا ألقوا فيها سمعوا لها شعيقا وهي تفور تكاد تميز من الغيد كلما ألقي فيها فوج سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نظير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكتبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير صدق الله العظيم أسمعكم ماني بستعون بزر الرحيم لا 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 السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون وتور سينين وحاز البلد العميم لقد خلقنا الألسان في أحسن ذكوين ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم عجر غير ممنون فمن يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بيحكم الحاكمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
Abrar Hussein, inshallah. Uh, one thing to mention quickly, uh, the discussion was with Brother Shahidullah, director of the TV, that he will record only one hour, 30 minutes. The way program is going, Brother said he is going to record everyone, inshallah. So we thank our brother, inshallah, that he gave us more chance, more time to this uh, uh, program, inshallah. So, Abrar. My name is Alshad. Today I will be reciting Surah Fil. Auzu billahi min ash-shaytan ir-rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Alam tara kayfa faala rabbuka bi ashabil fil. Alam yajal kaydahum fi tadlil. Warsal alayhim tayran ababil. Tarmihim bihijaratim min sijjil. Fajalahum kasfin ma'kul. Sadaqallahu al-Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Shihab Ahmed. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wal fajr wa layalin ashr. Wa shaf'i wal watr. Wal layli idha yasr. Hal fi thalika fathamun li dhi hijr. Alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi'ad. Iramadhati al-imad. Al-lati lam yukhlaq misluha fi al-bilad. Wa samuda al-lati jabu al-sakhra bil-wad. Wa fir'awna di al-awtad. Sadaqallahu al-alihu al-azim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal muddathir. Kum fa'andir. Wa rabbaka fa'kabbir. Wa thiyabaka fa'tahir. Wa rujza fa'jur. Wa la tamnun tastakthir. ولربك فاصبر فإذا نكر في الناكور فذلك يوم عيد يوم أسير على الكافرين غير يسير ذرني ومن قلقت وحيدا وجعلت له ما لم ممدودا وبنين شهودا وما حطت له تمهيدا السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والدين والزيتون وتور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويد ثم رددنا وصفل السافرين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا صالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بيحكم الحاكمين Hi, my name is Sami Anna, and today I'm going to do Surah Nas. <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qul laudu bi rabbin nas, malikin nas, ilahin nas, min sharril wa suwa sarqan nas, alladhi wa... Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, my name is Mahdadi Mahim and I'll be reciting the first 10 ayahs of uh, Surah Al-Baqir. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Iza waqa'ati al-waqiyah. Laysa li waqa'atiha kathibah. Khafizatu al-rafiyah. Iza rujjati al-ard rajja. Wabussati al-jibal bassa. فكانت هباء منبثا وكنتم أزواجا ثلاثة فأصحاب الميمنة ما أصحاب الميمنة وأصحاب المشعمة ما أصحاب المشعمة والسابقون السابقون 
Sadaqallahul Azim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Napisha. It's Ali Ba Ta Sa Jim Ha Ka Ta Sa Ro Sa Shin Shin Sua Dua Tua Zua Ang Ang Gang Fa Kap Kap Lam Mim Nun Wa Ha Ham Zaya. Masha Ben. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdul Hadi Ryan. In the Athena Fatari Rabbika One Heart. In the Shanika, who Abathar. Today I'm going to be reciting Surah Al Mursalat, the first, uh, the first ten ayahs. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَالْمُرْسَلَاتِ غُرْفًا فَالْآسِفَاتِ أَسْفًا وَالنَّاشِرَاتِ نَشْرًا فَالْفَارِقَاتِ فَرْقًا فَالْمُلْكِيَاتِ ذِكْرًا عُذْرًا أَوْ نُذْرًا إِنَّمَا تُوَدُونَ لَوَاكِهِ فَإِذَا النُّجُومُ ثُمِسَتْ وَإِذَا السَّمَاءُ فُرِجَتْ وَإِذَا الْجَحِيمُ نُسِفَتْ وَإِذَا الْجِبَالُ نُسِفَتْ وَإِذَا الرُّسُلُ أُقِّتَتْ لِأَيِّ يَوْمٍ أُجِّلَتْ لِيَوْمٍ فَصِلْ وما أدراك ما يوم الفصل ويل يوم عيد للمكذبين ألم نهلك الأولين ثم نتيمه الآهرين كذلك نفعل بالمجرمين ويل يوم عيد للمكذبين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My name is Amim Khan and I'll be reciting Surah Al-Shar Alam nashrah laka sadarak wa wadha'na anka wizrak alladhi anka da dahrak wa rafa'na laka dahrak fa inna ma'al usri yusra inna ma'al usri yusra fa idha faragata fansab wa ila rabbika fargab A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahi rahmani rahim Abasa wa tawalla Anja'ahu al-a'ma Wa ma yudharika la'allahu yazzakka Aw yazzakkaru fatanfa'ahu al-dhikra Amma man istaqna Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I will be reciting Surah Nas tonight Bismillahi rahmani rahim كل أوزي برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس مين شاريل وسواسي الكون الناس الذي وسويس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس إن شاء الله my beloved and respected parents and students as you know and of course our management besides the Quran or with the Quran we teach our students other Islamic subject as well they memorize and they learn hadith they learned Sirah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They learned all those necessary du'as. I don't know how much time do we have, how much we can show you all. But nevertheless, now we are going to call some students who claim themselves they know a lot of hadith. Two students will be standing here to eliminate each other. Both of them, they claim they know more than others. So therefore, it will be Bushra and Khalida. Bushra Rahman, Khalid Afghani. These two girls, they memorize more than 20 hadiths with the meaning. Let's see, let's see who is going to win the competition. So these students, uh, Bushra Rahman, she knows a lot of hadith, and Khalida Afghani, she also knows a lot of hadith. Let's see who can win this competition, starting with Bushra Rahman, mean hadith with the meaning. Our judges will count 30 seconds. Within 30 seconds, if the student cannot say the hadith, she or he will be eliminated. 30 seconds. Our judges, please, we need to count 30 seconds. Within 30 seconds, they must be able to do the hadith. Bismillah, Bushra, go ahead. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Qullu ma'roof in sadaqa. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Each and every righteous deed is charity. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Kullu masjidin haram The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Each and every intoxicate sallam Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Al-Ariyatu Mu'addatun The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said A borrowed thing must be returned Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam La taqtab The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Do not get angry 
قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا ضرر ولا ضرار the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said don't harm yourself and don't harm others قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تأكل بالشمال فإن الشيطان يا تأكل بالشمال the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said do not eat with your left hand because shaitan eats with his left hand قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الصدق ينجي والكذب يحلق the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said truth saves and lies destroy قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تأهد القرآن the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said Take good care of the Quran. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الجنة تحت أقدام الأمها. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Paradise lies under the feet of your mother. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سم الله وكل بيمينك وكل مما يليك. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Eat with your right hand, say Bismillah, and eat what is close to you. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم صلوا كما رأيتموني أصلي. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said perform your salah as you have seen me perform it. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تبسم كفي وجه خليك صدقة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said smile to your brother's face is charity. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الدم دلمات يوم القيامة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "Oppression will turn to darkness on the day of Kiyama." قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من خش فليس منا. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "Person who cheats is not from us." قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من لا يرحم لا يرحم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "He who does not be kind to others, others will not be kind to him or her." Go 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 ahead. Thirty seconds will be counted. One. Finish? Two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead. Try to do it. Finish? Okay, she said she doesn't know anymore. Mashallah, it was a, it was a beautiful competition between two students. Bushra should go more? Bushra go, let's see how much you can go. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la'nu al-mu'mini ka qatlihi The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said cursing a believer is like killing him. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tasahharu fa inna fi sahuri barakatun The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said have your sahur meal because there is blessings in the sahur meal. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man lam yashkuri nas lam yashkuri la The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he who does not thank people does not thank Allah. Beautiful. We do have muhaddithi, muhaddithat in our midst. A lot of women who knows a lot of hadith, mashallah. We also congratulate our Sheikh. Oh, Jazakumullah khair. Jazakumullah khair. So, one more boys pair we can, pair we can call. Brother, who is the brother? Nahyan versus Umar, two muhaddith. Okay? Fighting for the hadith. Fighting for the hadith. Okay, okay, you don't get excited. Okay, Omar, son of brother Imran Latif, and Nahyan, son of brother Lutfur Rahman. These two students, they say they know a lot of hadith. Let's see who can prove, yes, he knows more than others, okay? Uh, starting with Nahyan first. Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kullu ma'roof in sadaqah the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, each and every righteous deed is charity. Yes. Allah Rasulullah is Allah 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 more loudly. Take good care of the Quran. Loudly. Loudly. The Messenger of Allah said, A borrowed thing must be returned. Allah Rasulullah said, Man ghashat wa laysa minna. The Messenger of Allah said, The person who cheats, them, cheats is not from us. Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Tabastumu kafi wa diya khayfa sadaqatun The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Your smile towards your brother's face is charity Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alay
Let the robber let the rush. Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Do not harm yourself nor to others. Why not loudly? Why not why not loud? Am I right to moon you suddenly? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Perform your salah as you saw me perform it. More loudly, let the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes. Al-Jannah tahqa qadam al-Umu'al. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Paradise Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Paradise lies, lies under the mother. More clearly, loudly. The one who doesn't think people. The one who doesn't think people. Doesn't think Allah. The world is like a prison for believers and a paradise for disbelievers. Okay. <laughs> you done? Okay, mashallah. It, it was a bit was beautiful presentation, mashallah, from both students. They have done wonderful performance, alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, brothers and sisters, we have so many more muhaddithin sitting in front of us. Call the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ta'atun Quran. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, take care of the Quran. Yes, Samir. Call the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kullu ma'roof in sadaqah. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, each and every righteous deed is charity. Okay, Ibrahim. Father Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, la darara wa la dirar. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, do not harm yourself or others. Yes, Samir. Father Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, la taghdab. Meaning? The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam clearly. said, Do not get angry. Yes, Ibrahim. Kaadha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Kulna muskirin haram. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Each and every muskirin is haram, prohibited. Yes, Samir. Kaadha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Movement. Kulu bishimal, wa inna... Shaitan yaakulu bishimal. Do not eat. The, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Do not eat with the left hand because the devil eats with the left hand. Okay. Yes, Ibrahim. Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To, to control the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A smile to your brother's face is charity. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Eat with your right, say bismillah, eat with your right hand and eat whatever is close to you. Good. Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mangwasha Falisa Mina. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the person who cheats is not from us. Good. Father Sallallahu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, La Darara wa La Dirar. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Do not harm yourself nor to others. Oh. Father Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Al Jannatu Takta Kabar and Umahad. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, paradise, uh, paradise lies under the fear of mothers. Okay. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ta'ahadul Qur'an. He said it, he oh, said it. I said it. You know any, anyone? No Yeah, you can say one more? You can say one more hadith? So, 
So we can see, mashallah, both of them, they did well, mashallah. Good. Allahu Akbar. Okay, mashallah, well done, well done, well done. Okay, Sharoz and Hadiya. Starting with Sharoz, bismillah, go. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to each and every righteous deed is journey. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, take good care of the Quran. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that each and every is wrong. Okay, you you have you have no hadith? One more? Say it, say it, say it. Okay, something else. Okay, most exciting part, inshallah, it is for all the sisters, including our students, all the brothers, including our students. Boys versus girls, brothers versus sisters. So it is a short quiz from the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, I want the student make a little separation, okay, between the boys and girls. Boys, more this side. In the girls section, okay, Khalida is Amira. You are the leader. Who? Who is kept? Bushra, you? You accept? Okay, from the boys' side, Aswil. Aswil. You want to be? Okay, Yamin is the captain. Okay, from the boys' side. Okay, you, listen, girls. You can get assistance from any sister, boys. You can get assistance from any brother. Question from the life of Rasul. Ten questions for each group. Quickly, we're going to finish. First question. What was the name of the year in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born? Take the options. A. The year of elephant. B. The year of camel. C. The year of horse. D. The year of cat. You said the year of elephant, right? Your answer is correct. So we need to give them the mic otherwise. To the boys, who was the, who was the wait nurse of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Yes, boys. Who was the foster mother of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is it Zainab or Halima or Amina or Sumayya? Halima Saadiya. Answer is correct. To the girls. Okay? How old was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu when his mother passed away? Four years, five years, six years, or eight years? Six years. Answer is correct. To the boys. What was the first word of the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Is it pray, sing, worship, or read? Read. Your answer is right. Next question to the girls. What was the name of the cave in which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received the first revelation? The cave of Thawr, the cave of Hira, the cave of Jabal, or the cave of Amin? Question to the boys. To which city did Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam migrate? Is it to Mecca or Basra or ba Medina or Jerusalem? Medina. Loudly? Medina. Medina. Your final answer? Yes. Your answer is right. Okay. Next question to the girls. Which Sahaba 
did not hesitate to accept Islam. Is it Umar ibn al-Khattab, Abu Bakr, Salman al-Farsi, Uthman radiyallahu ta'ala anhum? Abu Bakr, final answer, no change, your answer is right. Next question to the boys. What was the name of the Christian man who recognized our beloved prophet as a final messenger? His name was? Bahira. Bahira, your answer is right. Okay, to the girls. The year in which Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lost his wife Khadija, known as what? Stand up. You need the options? The year of sorrow. The year of sorrow. Amul Huzan. Correct. Next question to the boys. How old was Prophet Muhammad when he received the first revelation? 40. 40 years, not 25? 40. 40 years, yes. you are 100% right. Okay. Next question to the girls. At the age of 20, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam joined a peace treaty. What was the name of that treaty? Al-Fudul, what is the complete answer? It is Hilful Fudul, Hilful Aqaba, Hilful Amana, Hilful Jabal. Hilful Fudul, your answer is correct. Next question to the boys, okay? What was the name of the Christian king from Abyssinia who gave shelter to the Muslims? What his name? Najashi. 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 Yes, Amir, leader. Yeah, Amir was King Najashi. King Najashi from Abyssinia. Your answer is correct. Next question to the girls. The incident when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi turned away from a blind man in which surah recorded? Surah to Abasa, it is your answer, right? No change? You are right. Next question to the boys. Okay? Who was with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he went to the city of Taif to propagate Islam? Who was with him? Which Sahabi was with him? Complete name is? Zaid ibn al-Haritha. Zaid ibn al-Haritha. Correct answer. Next question to the girls. From amongst the children, who was the first one who accepted Islam? From amongst the children, who was the first one accepted Islam? Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, your answer? Think about it. Right? You are right. Okay. Next question to the boys. Okay. From amongst the women, who was the first one who accepted Islam? Yamin, stand up. From amongst the women, Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha, you are right. Next few question to girls. In which year of Hijra? A little difficult. In which year of Hijra? Did Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam perform his hajj? In which year of hijra did Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam perform his hajj? You need option? Okay. Eighth year, ninth year, tenth year, or eleventh year? Yes. In which year he performed the Hajj? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Quickly, your time is passing. Eight year? Okay, she said Rasulullah performed in eight year. Unfortunately, your answer is wrong. Okay. So it was? Tenth year. 10th year, not now. Okay, to the boys, to the boys. In which year of Hijra 
Hajj was made obligatory. Is it eight, seven? Oh no, sorry, again. Seven, eight, nine, ten. In which year Hajj was obligatory upon Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Muslimin? Yes, I mean, stand up. In which year Hajj was made obligatory? You can get help. You can get help. Thirty seconds will be counted. Only nine. Nine. nine year? Nine year Hajj was made obligatory. Ten. 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 You change it? You change your mind? So you said tenth year Hajj was made obligatory. Unfortunately, your first one was right, second one is wrong. Ninth year. Okay. Okay. Next one. To the girls. In the ninth year, Rasulullah didn't go to perform Hajj, but he made a delegation. Who was in the delegation to lead? The, is it Abu Bakr and Umar? Or Abu Bakr and Uthman? Or Abu Bakr and Abu Huraira? Or Abu Bakr and Ali? Who was the leader of the delegation? In the ninth year, Rasulullah made a delegation on his Abu Bakr and final answer, no change. Your answer is right. Okay, the last question to the boys. Last question to the boys. According to Islamic scholar, Rasulullah Sallallahu had so many mu'jizah and miracles. But what is the greatest mu'jizah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Greatest miracle of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What is the greatest? Revelation of the Quran. No change? Your answer is right. Mashallah. 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 Well done. Beautiful competition. Beautiful. Here we conclude. Jazakumullah khair to Brother Imran. Latif. Boys and girls, just, just uh, quickly. We have over 12 students who are going to perform the speech. But, but since we're a little short on time, we're just going to have a couple of speeches. And um, after the break, we're going to continue with the rest of the speeches. So with that, I'm going to call upon our student, Aswil. He's going to go and uh, do a speech about the seerah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbi shahli sadri wa yisirli amri wa ahlil uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the greatest men to ever walk on the surface of this earth. But before I even get to that, I want to ask you a simple question. Because this is, because without knowing the answer to this question, this whole entire speech is technically a waste. And the question is, who is this man? Who is this man that holds this special title? And this is not no one else but our dear Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But what made him so great? What made him so great that he wasn't any billionaire, he, was, he didn't own the whole entire world. But the thing that made him great was his character, his kindness, his generosity. His generosity and kindness surpass anybody of his time, anybody who will ever live on this earth. He was, he was, his, his character was so good, it was mentioned in the best book of Allah, the book of, the book of Islam, the Quran. In the in Surat al in Surat al Maida on I mean Surat al Anbiya on verse one o seven, it says in our salna kaila rahmat lil alamin. In 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 reference to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah says that he was sent as a mercy to all of mankind. Now think of that in the Quran, Allah the Creator Himself says that he was a mercy one man a mercy to all of mankind that shows his character that shows how kind he was that shows his generosity now uh, now we know that he's great now we know that he was super kind now we know that he was super generous but how is that going to benefit us how is his kindness how is his generosity going to benefit us and that and we and that is we as muslims are supposed to read the seerah, we're supposed to read the hadith, we're supposed to read the Quran and then take the details about the seerah and about his life, take those details about his life and implement into our life. And that's the important part. You can learn the whole entire seerah but without being able to apply it in your life, 
it's technically useless. You can know every single thing about science, but if you can't take a test, if you can't answer one question about science, then all of, all the knowledge you know is technically useless. Now, before without further ado, I would like to say a um, uh, story f about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There once was a man who came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He came with a bag of grapes. He gave to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet took one, then took another one, then took a, then ate the whole entire bag. After the pro after after some time, after he finished all the grapes, he gave he the old man returned back happily. Then the Sahabas asked him, "Why didn't you share it with us?" He asked, they asked him more kindly, of course, because he's a prophet. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "When I took the first one, I found out it was sour, and I didn't want you. I didn't want to give it to you. I didn't want to give it to you because I didn't because I was scared that you would make a sour face and the old man would go away." Now this shows us many lessons. Two of these lessons are one: it shows his generosity and kindness. He ate all the grapes knowing that it's sour he went through all that sourness just to make one old man happy that shows his great that shows his generosity and that shows his kindness and the second thing is that we can see how clever he was usually when we get a bag of sour grapes we would just and my our friend asked us for one we would just give it to him without even thinking oh maybe this is sour maybe i shouldn't give it to him this maybe he would maybe he, he would make a bad face we don't think about that. We just right away give it to him without even thinking about what might happen next. But he knew that if he gave it to the Sahabas, they might make a bad face. They might think um, they might think something bad of him. So he did not give it. That that shows his cleverness and smartness. Now, we need to apply this into our life. Now, because of the short of time, I can only explain one story. But in the seer, there are plenty of stories about lessons, about lessons that we can apply to our life. We Muslims must take those lessons and apply it into our life. Knowing the whole seerah is not the big thing, but being able to apply it into our life is a big thing. You, you can know half the seerah, but being able to apply that half into your life is a good thing. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for listening. That's all I have for you today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And my name is Zara Afghani. We both are students here at Islamic Center. Tonight we will be talking about the prophethood of the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and one of the earliest and significant battle of his in his life. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, didn't become a prophet right away. He married Khadija عنه, at the age of 25. During this period, he used to go to the cave of Hira to, in order to is, in, in, isolate himself and meditate. From there, he would sometimes look over the Kaaba, which contained idols at that time. One day, the Prophet وسلم, was meditating, and Angel Jabril came to him and said to the Prophet, Ikra, which means read. The Prophet re replied, I, I cannot read. He asked two more times with the same word, Ikra. After each time, he was, he was not literate, and so he couldn't read. After that, Angel, re Angel Jabril recited the first revelation. Read in the name of your Lord, who created man from king's substance. Read in your Lord is the most gracious who taught by the pen, taught men that which he knew not. The Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, went home trembling to Khadija radiallahu anhu to wrap him up in a blanket, and so she did. This was a major turning point in his life, as this event was immediately followed by his pro prophethood. Now Kinza will talk about a very significant battle in Islam. The Battle of Badr was an important battle for the Muslims. While the Prophet was living, living in Mecca, the, the Meccans were very rude to him and his companions. Therefore, by Allah's command, he migrated to Medina with his companions who could travel. As soon as getting there, he signed peace treaties with the surrounding tribes. The Prophet Sallallahu sent eight spies to Mecca's caravan trading boats to gain information. While there, someone recognized him as a spy and conflict erupted, in which the Muslim spies also got involved as well. The Prophet Muhammad was upset by the behavior of the Muslims, but Allah told him that what the Meccans did was far worse. This conflict outraged the Meccans, who then got ready for war. Therefore, the Meccans also prepared. 
The war between the two tribes showed a lot of amount in the men and devotion that the Muslims had for Islam. This battle birth the Muckins and the Venus was significant to the, to, due to this fact. At the end of the battle, the Muslims won victory, which showed the, st the strength of their Iman. This was one of the first battles the Prophet Muhammad fought for in Islam. By coming to this wonderful masjid, we learned things like this. Thank you to our teachers and chef for teaching us things like this, stories and other valuable lessons to help increase our Iman. We are almost towards the end of the program. Two, three students' performance, then inshallah we go for song. And who is the next brother Imran? Oh, Uthman. Uthman is going to deliver his speech about the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Isman. I am a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last messenger of Allah. He told us to pray five times a day. Always listen to our parents, never lie, and to be nice. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Love children very much. He really kind and always spoke the truth. I love Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Okay, students come for the song My Mother. In my love to my respect and my honor to whose happy am I going to? Welcome to ITB and Support Islamic Center, uh, Center. all student, parents, Muslim Management Committee, especially Imam Bilab, Imam and Khatib, uh, Sheikh Lutfur Rahman, and others, uh, three judges here. Uh, uh, you know, the ITB actually this is the Dawah based uh, channel. This is not uh, traditional any television. We have apps, you can download our apps, ITB USA and you can watch on your laptop or your desktop any 
our website in www.itbusa where as well uh, other 25 different network like Jazu, Roku, Apple TV in the different network. Every day we have eight hour program. Our goal is only two. How can save our next generation and how can resolve the misconception about Islam. Only two goals we are working. And this month, end of the month of Rabiul Awal, already month of Rabiul Akhir Sani already started. We did a 30 program, the different masajid and different Islamic schools. And we get a lot of response. Our kids, mashallah, they, are, they did very wonderful nasheed and peace and the different type of program. You can watch on YouTube also, itbusa.tv. Uh, and uh, our uh, sponsor, the Adam Tools, uh, nobody here. Uh, they're going to be give our all gift and everything. Right now, uh, I want to uh, call the president and the imam. Please uh, hand over the, our certificate and gifts. Mashallah, mashallah. Mashallah. Takbir. Khalid Afghani. Khalid Afghani. And hold it like this when you take it. Yeah. Go stand there. Yeah. Yes. Sumaya. Sumaya. Yes, hold your one. Yeah. Mahjabin Hal. Mahjabin is not here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam. The greatest thanks to all the parents. This event is impossible from your contribution, from your effort, preparing your children, bringing them here to the masjid, getting them ready, and mashallah, look at them, dress them so nicely today, mashallah. They should always come to the masjid dressed up like that. Okay, thanks to the, all the mothers, all the hard work you do for them, for these children. Okay, certificate. Show your certificate. Yes. Show your certificate. Suffolk Islamic Center. Suffolk Islamic Center. Suffolk Islamic Center. ITV. Call of Peace. Save Humanity.